It's working. It's working. Okay, kind of, kind of. All right, where's it going? Uh, it's working. Okay, okay, this is kind of working. Rotation, rotation. We're getting kind of hot here. Success. <laughs> so hey guys, uh, in this Kerbal video, I'm, what I'm going to do is build a joystick to be able to connect to the I'm able to control the Kerbal Space Station. So right here, right now, what I'm going to do is uh, hook up the Adafruit uh, two two-way analog joystick. It actually has three analog outputs. It has it for the X axis, the Y axis, and then for the select. But as you'll see later on in the video, I only have um, well, actually, the Raspberry Pi doesn't have analog input, so I had to use a digital to analog converter, actually an analog to digital converter, which only has two uh, analog inputs. So currently right now, I'm only going to be able to use two in my next version or in the next video. I'm thinking about just using an Arduino to be able to read these inputs and send it over to the Raspberry Pi. I know it's completely overkill, but that's kind of why I'm doing this, just to, to learn and to overkill. So, here's a little build montage of me putting together uh, the analog stick. So I have this Raspberry Pi GERT board from way back from 2012 when Element 14 uh, sent it to me. And you can see that in the Pi Dozer video. And it does break my heart a little bit to be doing what I'm going to be doing to this board because it's such an awesome board. Here's the GERT board. I have it uh, plugged into my Raspberry Pi 2 over there. Um, currently my Kerbal controller. and. Like this board's just awesome. I ha I have a little sketch that controls these buttons and then these LEDs just go back and forth. And it's all being controlled by this at mega 328P-PU and the PU means it's already has the Arduino bootloader so you can program this program this chip uh, using the Arduino IDE. But in order to In order to use my analog, uh, my analog thumb joystick from Adafruit, I need an analog to digital converter. And so, what I'm going to use is that MCP uh, 3002 digital analog converter. I think it's a 10-bit, and I'm just going to plug it into my 
my breadboard and plug in my analog so I can uh, control my spaceships in Kerbal. And I should pro get a proper desoldering iron. Or a uh, air heat gun. Because I don't have one. It's not See, I totally broke those pins. Rip. Yeah, that didn't work the best, but <laughs> there she is. As you can see here, I got the MC3002 hooked up to the Raspberry Pi and I'm just testing the analog sticks. If you see right there in the left hand corner, I'm getting the values. These are in the hundreds. I need to divide that by a hundred so it's about 50% when it's just in the idle. And this takes effect later on with my Kerbal code.